Hi, hello! Uh, since the new army book came out, I've been going through my models and rebasing uh, most of them because uh, I've been collecting them since the beginning, since the start of this game came out in 2001 and over the time my basing techniques have changed and they looked a little bit messy so um, I've been going through systematically army by army buying up all the models I no longer I don't have, didn't have and they're getting re-released and I turned my attention to Gondor and what I did was I tried to put them on some homemade bases that kind of look like the White Tower. It's just made from sort of mini part. And I was never very happy with them. They just looked, I don't know, not detailed enough, a bit big. So I've been looking for a, a sort of pre-done base and I know Generation Shift do um, Generation Shift 92 do a series of white city bases which are fantastic don't get me wrong but they're always multi-leveled I just want something flat so I come across a post on the Great British Hobby League forum uh, group page about a, uh, a company that makes what could be suitable bases so uh, I thought we'd I've got a package here so I thought we'd have a look at them. Um, I thought I'd do a quick review about them. So I believe they're. I've got the invoice in here. I'll be throwing it out. I don't want my wife to see. Uh, <laughs> well, I think they're 450. Uh, and what they are, they're by a company called Renegra. Renegra Generics, Renegra Limited. Uh, if I show you on, on this cam. So here they are, Renidra Limited, and these are pavement pieces, they're 25mm bases, it's going to come on that, and I think you get 52, 52 £4.50, which is a lot, so if we, they might be uh, if we have a look, they're coming nice, nice bag like this, easy to get into. And so you get basically two sprues. And on each sprue is 27. So it's 12 there, 12 there. Maybe five. <laughs> My maths. Oh, brain. Oh, can't count. So it's 14. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh, what am I doing in my life? Anyway, there's that many. We'll come back uh, with you exactly. But what they are, I don't know if you can see these, they have. I'm just trying to remove that. They just have a little pavement pattern on them, so they're perfectly flat. Now, the issue is with these, and it's not an issue with these bases per se, but it is because these are 25mm bases, which is what. Games Workshop bases are, so my plan was just to glue them on. Great. But the problem is, if I just quickly twist one out, uh, is the 25mm on Games Workshop bases is the bottom of them, the actual bevel in. And so the 25mm goes on the bottom. So if you put them on the top like how I wanted, you get like a slight overhang. See that there, like so. Oh. So, uh, I'll try and get it in like that. Now, that there's sort of three options you can do. You can either let's see if I've got any, I think I did buy yourself some 25mm laser cut MDF and just attach them on like so, and then you don't get any overhang. Uh, you probably want thicker ones than these, things are. You probably want the same thickness as a GW base, there's that option. The other option, of course, is to trim the bases. Uh, or the third option is just to glue it on and not worry about it, and that is the option that I'm going to go for. Uh, so, anyway, you get those. So, I've got two sets of these. So, you get, so it's basically four sprues. 
and I've also got uh, three sets of the uh, 40 mil. I always forget what size. Anyway, the cavalry bases. Uh, and they're in much the same style. Let me open these up. They're exactly the same style. We'll have a look. There it is. So, uh, here are eight in a pack for these and let me just stop recording while I check the prices okay so there's 52 in the 25 mil and they're 450 and you get eight of the 40 mil and they're 450 as well uh, you can see they're just as detailed and lovely as the uh, 25 mil ones but again, you can have the same issue with the bases where they're beveled, but I'm not going to be that worried. Because all I'm going to do is I've got one already done as a cavalry base. Um, so what I've done there is stuck it on, not worrying about the overhang. You don't really notice it when it's going to be down. Undercoated it all in black. I then dry brushed some. Here we go. Dry brush some uh, Dawnstone on, just to give it a ground leaf, and then use this uh, Citadel dry paint, the Rack White, and dry brush that over, and that's how I got this effect. And then I sort of systematically gone through and put some. Warriors of Minas Tirith on which some warriors. In there. Oh well, let me adjust the camera. Get it a bit lower. And if you compare it to my original bases, you can see vast difference in quality. There's my original base, which looks terrible, and this is the bases and they look great and I've gone through I'm going through now and putting all my models on so I've got some Citadel Gars on there I'm just going through and putting all the models on so yeah for that price I might need another set of the uh, 25 mil bases I might just have too much Gondor to do on its own but yeah for that price well worth it um, I'm in extremely impressed with them Sure again. I mean, for the price you pay, uh, delivery is really quick as well. Uh, highly, highly recommended. I mean, um, if you do go there, this is not a sponsored video. I've actually bought these products to review. I've not been sent them free or anything. But if you do buy them from there, tell them that Tales of Middle Earth sent you, and let's see if the future they can uh, do. They might offer us some discount or for us or something like that if we keep buying enough but we'll see uh, brilliant for Minas Tirith I am thoroughly impressed with them uh, nice and detailed easy to use easy to paint up uh, but it really makes my Minas Tirith army look fantastic and if you want like here I've even had just a little stone on just so this guy can step on it and it's an Osgiliath nice veteran Yep, so uh, thanks for watching this review. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I say uh, I'm very impressed. I'm not sure we'll definitely be ordering from this company again soon. Uh, until next time, take care. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Game on and continue to support our wonderful hobby.